Hello, and welcome back to our advanced squad leader tutorial series. We have been covering the movement phase recently, but are taking a break to handle viewers' topics. Several people have asked us to cover concealment in ASL. I recently returned from the Nor'easter in Boxborough, Massachusetts, and got a refresher from several of my friends while we were playing our games. So I figured this would be a great time to do a video or two on this important topic. The purpose of concealment is to add some fog of war for the all-mission players to make it more realistic, so to speak. Like usual, we'll go to the counters first and describe it. In this case, the counter is simply a question mark and the color of the army you're using and the morale of seven. This morale of seven corresponds to the morale level used to see if a unit keeps concealment in certain situations or not. We'll see this come into play in our next video. While this piece does not have a lot of information on it, it can be a powerful, he powerful piece if used in the right way. The best way to show the basics of concealment is to show the same unit getting shot at both concealed and unconcealed. Let's put this 467 in concealment terrain on the eastern front, in the woods. The way you can tell if terrain is considered concealment terrain or not is that on the terrain charts, the terrain type is in red letters. If its letters are red, then it is concealment terrain. Now we will fire at it first unconcealed and concealed with each of the following. A 447 with light machine gun, the 82mm mortar, a JS3 tank, and a 6 to 8 engineer armed with a flamethrower. First, the 447 light machine gun combination will shoot at the unconcealed 467 on the 6 firepower column with a plus 1 DRM for being in the woods. The roll is a 6, plus 1 for the trees is a 7, so the 467 would suffer a normal morale check. Now, let's conceal the 467 and roll the same 6. All firepower is halved versus concealed units. Therefore, the 6 firepower is cut to 3. There is no 3 column, so the roll is on the 2 firepower column. So the same 6 with plus 1 DRM for the woods, for a total of 7, has no effect on the 467. Now let's fire the 82mm mortar at the hapless German 467. Mortars use the area to hit target type all the time. So it would hit the German on a 7. Using the 6 again for the 2 hit roll and for its effects, it would be a hit first. The 4 7 would suffer an 8 down 1 shot for the air burst. Sticking with the 6, it would be modified down to a 5 on the 8 firepower column for a morale check of 2 on the Germans. Now, let's conceal our 4 6 7. Concealment adds plus 2 to your 2 hit dice roll. That same 6 now is a miss because 6 plus 2 DRM for the concealment is an 8. Now you can place an area acquired sticker on concealed units to make it easier to hit the next shot. Next, let's use the JS3 tank with its massive 122mm gun. Using the infantry target type from 4Xs away, the Russian to hit starts at an 8. The dice roll modifier is a plus 1 for button up and plus 1 for being in the trees. Assuming the dice roll is a 6 again, he hits the unconcealed 467 on the trees and then the 467 would suffer an attack on a 24, 24 firepower column with no modifier. That 467 squad is going to have a bad day. If they survive this blast, they will be acquired by the tank. So the next set of DRM's total would only be a plus one. Now let's conceal the 467. The total DRM's are plus one buttoned up, plus one for the woods, and plus two for being concealed. Assuming the six was to hit roll again, the tank now misses. Furthermore, the tank cannot acquire the squad because concealment counters can only be acquired with area fire. The next time the tank fires, it will still need a 4 to hit. If it does hit them, then the effects are not halved and the squad would get hit on a 24 firepower column with no modifier. Finally, let's use the flamethrower, which is one hex away from the 467. If the 467 is unconcealed, the attack would be on a 24 firepower column with no modifier. If the 467 is concealed, the attack is on a 12 column with no modifier for TEM. There are several other things that being concealed helps. One, on ambush rolls in close combat, there is a minus two dice roll modifier for the concealed unit. Two, the firepower of units attacking a concealed unit in close combat is halved. Three, when resolving, resolving if an OBA can be called in on a unit, if all the target units in question are concealed, the player trying to bring in the OBA must make an extra chit draw to have it land on that target. Concealment can protect infantry from critical hits. Remember, to get a critical hit on infantry, the final modified dice roll has to be less than half. Most guns hit infantry at 8 
or less to hit. If you add the plus two DRM for being concealed, even a snake eyes gets raised to a four, which is not less than half, so no critical hit occurs. This concludes the first part of concealment and advanced quality. In the second part, we will be covering how to gain concealment and how to lose it. If you liked this video and found it useful, like us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. If you want to have all the latest news on this great game, check out our website www.theadvancedsquadleaderexperience.com and for the latest gaming news in other great games, check out our website at www.table-top-war-games.com. And like always, take care and thanks for watching.